good morning world from Shargao Island here in the Philippines. It is quite early in the morning. I've just come down to the beach to return some sticks. <laughs> we had some extra sticks that we didn't end up using for our Christmas tree. So I've just collected them up and brought them back to the beach where they came from. It is quite a stormy morning today. It's really breezy quite menacing looking sea out there. It's nice and refreshing though. There was quite a big storm last night. No thunder or anything like that but just lots of rain and lots of wind. It rained so much. It was hammering against the window. I thought it was going to break the glass. It was so loud. The sky's still got that moody stormy look to it even this morning. A big crab clinging onto the box down there. Looks like it might be clearing up a bit over there. I can see some bright sky coming through. Like I said though, it is still early. I've left Story getting dressed in the house, getting ready for the day. I think Jay was doing a little workout and I'm gonna head back now to begin making our breakfast. Good morning, puppy. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello, you're very sweet. Look at your ears. Wow, you're beautiful. Good morning. Good morning. I have hijacked Story's headphones this morning because they're the only pair of Bluetooth headphones we have in the house. Perfect for doing the workout. Actually, Story doesn't like these anymore because she says it hurts her head, so I think we're going to have to try and find her a different pair. I'm really glad that we bought this home exercise unit thing. I think exercise is something that has helped a lot of people through this pandemic time because when you're stuck in your home and you're not allowed to go out, you know, there has to be a way to keep yourself occupied, keep your body strong. I still don't exercise enough like I want to, but I do feel like I have done a lot more having this in the house. I can also highly recommend this thing because it's brilliant. It doesn't slip and you can turn any set of weights into a dumbbell and it really does diversify your workout. If anybody's curious about what kind of workouts we do, we like to do these Tabata ones where you do 20 seconds of high intensity exercise and then 10 seconds of rest. I use this free app here called Tabata Timer and my favorite artist to listen to when I exercise is Coven. They are a British EDM team. They make really cool music. They're perfect to add to your workout playlist. What I like about them is it's the perfect mix of like cinematic uplifting sound but alongside that hard kind of drum and bass or dubstep that's good when you're working out and you're trying to do something powerful what are you up to story you've got a mouthful of chocolate <laughs> that's the opposite of exercise isn't it what's your go-to music for exercise i always listen to max wazo i'm not sure if that's how you pronounce his name but i really like his playlist he has some good workout specific playlists and also just like it's more like kind of dancey, vocal... Upbeat? Yeah, oh, okay. fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's a very personal thing. Everyone's got their own specific drive when it comes to exercise. I like that powerful sound of dubstep and drum and bass because it makes me want to lift weights or lift my own body weight harder. What kind of music do you like when you're exercising? Uh, fast music, slow music? Fast. Yeah, happy music? I like it. I like it but like this fast. That's right. That's, how you, that's what you do before mummy's school, isn't it? Yeah. You have a little exercise session, don't you? Wow, <laughs> that's good. Your arms can reach further apart now as well. <laughs> my legs are not longer. Yeah, your legs are longer. You've been growing up, haven't you? Wow, good stretch. Story's so worked out her own personal exercise. Yeah, watch. Show me what it's called. Stretch out leg on the weight. So it's like a super weight. I'll show you how you do it. Okay. So. Wow. That's really good. And you roll it back and forward. That's great for your tummy, story. Great for your core, this bit. Back stretch. And it's called back up sleigh. Back up sleigh? Yeah. Not a bad exercise. You know what time it is? Yay! And what number are you looking for today? Sixteen. Yeah, sixteen. Have you I found it? You found it already. Can you reach it? My finger's not long. No, shall I help you? But I'm almost. Look. 
If I move it a bit closer. There you go. That's closer. It's something, it feels quite flat in there. Oh, what do you think it's going to be? Let's find out. Something pink in there. I saw something already. Oh, a paw print. It's not really an animal, though. Oh, that's sweet. Dad. That squishy done. I'll leave you to do your colouring in. See, and your stickers. And our breakfast today, requested by Story this morning, is date bars. So that's what I'm making here. So in here we've got dates, flaxseed, chia seeds, oats, peanut butter, and then you put a little bit of water in as well. These are actually in our cookbook. So some of you may have seen these already, but they are very delicious. So you whiz up the mixture, it doesn't take long at all until it all kind of just sticks together by itself, like that. And then you can either roll them into little balls and then they turn into little truffles and you can roll them in cacao powder or roll them in coconut or nuts or something. But this morning I'm going to make them into a bigger, larger, more substantial breakfast bar. And there we have it. It is really quick and easy to do. I just dusted some cacao powder over the top and some little nuts to go with it. And there's Story's one there with apple as well. Jay and I are going to have ours with a little coffee. Story's going to have oat milk and then that is breakfast done. <laughs> Enjoy. I'm already snacking. You're already snacking. Can I have my milk? Yeah, you can have your milk. Is it nice? Yeah. Have you tried the date bar yet? Not yet. No. So you know what? Do you want a fork or are you just going to use your fingers? A fork for my date bar. Thank you. Oh, yeah. That's good. Good, good, good. Milk is coming. <laughs> Well, I thought earlier that it was clearing up, but it's gone the other way and it's now pouring with rain again. So I think it's going to be a nice, cosy day at home for us, which is nice to do once in a while. But actually, after having all this rain the last day or so, we've noticed that Jay's hard work on the window ceiling <laughs> needs a little bit of refinement because we're getting big puddles again. There's one coming through there. If there was going to be any window that I didn't think would leak, it was going to be this one. Yeah. I put so much rubber in it, <laughs> so much sealant around it, and still it finds a way. I know. <laughs> Whilst Doris still having her breakfast, we wanted to just check in and let you know what is happening with Eden. We spoke a lot about Eden and her journey to us here in the Philippines in yesterday's video. Yes, if you've been following Instagram or if you are one of our 8 milers on Patreon, you probably already know this, but Eden's flight has been delayed and so we are going to put off her journey to us until January next year because it's now a bit too close to Christmas. Yes, and there's lots of possible unexpected closures of offices and paperwork might take longer because of the time of year yeah. so that's why we're going to delay her. As a quick explanation she was just about to get onto the plane and one of the air handlers decided that he didn't want to let her travel. Yes. He went against vet regulations and he's going to be punished for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they have made a complaint to the airline about why he done that so um, yeah I, she returned back to Jay's brother last night went yeah. to pick her up so she will be staying in the UK for a bit longer we are incredibly disappointed yeah. extremely <laughs> emotional we had quite a hard night yeah it wasn't it wasn't nice we no. were very disappointed and let down about it all because we as far as we were concerned we were ready to go mm. and this it was happening it. and yeah. she should have actually been arriving in Manila today in a few hours yeah so yeah, it's just very disappointing. The upside is though that the new flight that we've got her booked onto is with Philippines Air and Philippines Air is one of our favorite airlines. We've flown with them before, we trust them. It's a more direct route and we think that she'll have less problems. So we're looking forward to Eden's journey to us in 2021. Yeah, we're staying positive about it. We know she's in good hands. We're just very sad that she's not going to be with us, especially over Christmas mm. because it's actually her birthday on Christmas Eve and one of us has always been with her on her birthday so I'm very disappointed about that. Um, 
but it is what it is this is out of our hands and we can't do much from here so we're hoping in the new year there might be new rules in place for travel and things might open up more <laughs> who knows it might even be easier for us yeah it may be so we'll see but for now Eden won't be with us for a, a bit longer well, on a different note, I wanted to show you something. The other day, I actually made our Christmas cake, which is now being stored in here. Mmm, it smells so good. <laughs> this is actually the very first Christmas cake I've ever made from scratch, believe it or not. I'm going to share the recipe down below. I'll put a link in the description because it was so easy. This is a vegan Christmas fruit cake. It was much, much easier than I thought it was going to be. I always imagined fruit cakes to be really long to make, but it wasn't, it was so quick. And I am a little bit worried now that I've made it a bit too early. For this cake, I did actually soak the dried fruit in rum overnight which the recipe doesn't actually call for. I only done that because when my nan and my mum used to make a Christmas cake, they always used to do that. So if you are looking to make a Christmas cake, there's still time because this is so quick to do. So there's actually two little cakes in here. I'm not gonna get it all out, but there's one there and there's one on the top as well. They are still really, really moist in there. Oh, it smells really good. It cooked for an hour in the oven and it has come out really perfectly. I'm really happy with with the result. I did actually pour a little bit more rum over the top of it the other day. Want to check my Christmas cake out? Oh, yeah. This is the first time you're seeing it, isn't it? What do I have to do? Sniff it. You have to sniff it. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> what does it smell like? It smells like a genuine, authentic Christmas it cake. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. And it smells like Santa. It smells like Santa? Yeah. Oh, do you think it smells Christmassy? It does. I've never ever been a fan of fruit cakes, but as I've gotten older, I actually quite enjoy them now. Mm. Well, I really love Christmas cake. It's probably one of my favorite cakes, which is why I made it. Even if Jay and Story don't like it, I will eat it. So put it back in there to sleep for a few more days. Have you found one that you like? What have we got? There's a Christmas tree, that's a cute polar bear. Let me go and get you some paper while you choose, yeah? Yeah, but I think I can't do the polar bear. After you come, I'll, I'll press the polar bear, yeah? I'll press the polar bear after you got it. Oh, good job. You got the paper, let me get your, do you want polar crayons bear. or pens? Crayons please, Mum. No okay. crayons. Right, let's set you up then. Um. There you go. Looks nice and clean now. Bring it back down. I've just set Story up a little drawing tutorial. She's going to draw a holiday polar bear. So we'll see how that turns out. So Story's having fun doing this little cute polar bear. How's it going, Story? It's good. Yeah? But it's a surprise. Okay. <laughs> so it's like a Christmas present. It's to send to Papa. Oh, okay. And I'm going to send this, this polar bear picture to Papa, yeah? Okay, she wants to hear it. <laughs> Let them peek. Okay. I've just realised the Christmas lights haven't been turned on yet. There we go. So much better. Nice and festive now. There is a crow attacking the window. <laughs> this happens every morning. It actually stopped for a little while. But yeah, generally most mornings we get woken up by that crow slamming itself against the window. <laughs> I think because they can see the reflection and they think it's another crow, so they try and attack it to scare off the competition. I, we've looked at how to try and stop the crows from banging into the window, but I don't think there is really a solution for it. I've just flown up into the tree up there now. Off he goes. And on that note, I'm going to end today's video. Hope you're enjoying these December daily vlogs. Don't forget to check the description where there will be the link for the Christmas cake recipe if you want to try and make it yourself. And also Stories Holiday Fundraiser. You can go and check that out down below as well. Hope you all have a fantastic day and we'll see you tomorrow for more videos. Bye. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.